Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of our survival game series um, done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and today uh, is going to be a hopefully pretty quick tutorial because I'm in a hurry as always and it's going to be about how to implement crosshairs so that the player knows exactly where the center of the screen is. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Maybe even some materials and colors. I don't know. Let's see how much time we have. Um, okay, so I've opened up Unity again, again, and then um, yes, so I've opened up Unity, and we can just go ahead and drag the animation clips that we created in the last tutorial under our animations, and um, so save this and. We can uh, go ahead and create the um, the cursor, the crosshair. So um, what we need to do is we need to open up some kind of um, photo editing program, some kind of graphics program. Um, this could be GIMP. That's a pretty cool um, free alternative to Photoshop that uh, which I will be using. Um, so open something like that up. Um, if you don't know how to do this, this will be pretty simple, but then you can just find something online under what's called, um, I think it's pixel art or something like that, um, which um, you'll need some kind of image that does not have a white background, else it will look weird. So, um, okay, so create a new, new document and we can just call it this cursor. And... Um, it's going to be about 16 by 16 pixels, but you can scale it down. Um, and it's just a really small square. And um, I'm going to double click on the background and call this BG, and then just turn this layer off. And uh, then I'm going to create a simple round shape. Um, it's nothing fancy, and I'm not going to teach you anything in Photoshop. It's just um, really basic. So um, this this is going to be white. You can make it whatever you want. And I'm going to click and drag in the center, holding down Alt and Shift. And yes, that looks about right. And we can go ahead and take the opacity down to about um, 70. And then we can go ahead and save as and then navigate to your Unity project. So um, mine is under my Dropbox, um, under the D drive, under the Dropbox, Brackies, no, wait, um, Survival, I think it's called. There it is. And then Assets. And then here you can just save as a Photoshop file um, because Unity recognizes this. Um, else you can go ahead and save it as a PNG or a JPEG. Everything will work. Also, I think they use TIFF, but I'm not entirely sure. GIF is probably not allowed, but you can try it out. Okay, so um, hit save and all right. And then we can go back to Unity and that's the photo editing part of this tutorial. Now we can go ahead and create uh, a new kind of game object. So go to game object, create other, and then hit the GUI texture. Bum, bum, bum. And uh, one very important part of the GUI texture is that it always needs to, uh, you know, need to know where it is at. So um, by default, it's at the 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0. And the set won't change everything, uh, anything, <laughs> sorry, uh, the, the Z won't uh, change anything at all because this is all relative to your camera. So if I go ahead and hit play, this is always stuck on your camera. This is the 2D element and it won't change. You can, it's not acting in a 3D space. Um, so you can just go ahead and leave that at zero. And if you want this type of graphic to be anchored uh, in the corner, then you can go ahead and type zero zero and it will and it will be anchored in the left corner. But this we want to be anchored in the center. So um, and what do you use to adjust it? You use what is called pixel inset because um, there are many 
forms of um, GUI. Um, GUI means graphical user interface. And um, there are many ways to do it. But basically, pixel inset is how far away this is from the century, but it could be from the century, it could be from the uh, left side, right side, it could be from the corners. In pixels, the element should be. So how far away from some point the, um, the, the GUI should be in pixels. And this way, it will always be the exact same distance um, from some place, no matter your screen re resolution. So this is what you'll need to be adju adjusting it, else it will change when you maximize and minimize. So, um, but for now, we are going to uh, change the texture, first of all, so you can go ahead and drag the cursor element uh, in here. And I don't know why I have named this cursor. This should be cross hair. I'm a little out of my mind today. And then you can change the texture to GUI down here in the import settings. And this is really important because GUI is much higher image quality than texture. This is important. <laughs> Remember this. GUI is um, so much better quality and can be, um, it, it can, it don't need to be perfectly square. Um, textures can only be 1025, 512, um, 64, 32, 16 by 16, all this kind of stuff. GUI elements can be anything you want. So um, the max size, we'll just change this to 32, not that it will matter, and then hit apply. And then go into the Unity watermark small, which is what our GUI element is uh, named. And then you can change the width to 16 and the height to 16. And we can go ahead and zero out the pixel inset. Now this won't make it perfectly centered. Um, this will make it centered from the corner of the GUI element. So we should go ahead and uh, say um, about eight. And I think it's eight, May it might be minus eight. I think this should be the century. Um, but you can we can do some testing on this later. For now, we can just leave it at zero, zero. It won't matter that much. Um, so now we have this um, element in the center of our screen, and we can make this smaller. We can make it bigger, just adjusting the width and height, or going into Photoshop and doing it. Um, so let's rename this to cross hair. And um, yeah, that'll be it. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, I'm sorry that uh, it's so quick, but I haven't got time for any more. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.